following Archer Evolution Travel Session is brought to you by Carnival Cruise Lines. Fun for all, all for fun. Carnival Cruise Lines. Hi, everybody. And hello, Evolution family. It's Wednesday, October 9th, 2019, a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. And welcome to all the agents across the United States and North America, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and in Mexico. We have some folks in Mexico today, some of my friends that I met on the fam when I went to Puerto Vallarta. I'm sure you saw some of the strangeness that we did last week on this call, so I, I hope you had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Jose Lambert here of Archer Travel Service, been some great weather. I want to welcome you to the Evolution Interactive Training Session. Today we're going to cover the importance of follow-up during the holiday travel. Now, I've spoken about this 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 idea of follow-up before. I, I want to uh, you know apply this to our holiday travel that we've been talking about for the past several weeks uh, since the end of July, and we're going to be done with holiday travel by the end of this month, and then we're going to start talking about booking for spring break and early summer. You have to start doing this, and you have to start looking at your suppliers and vendors and cruise lines and see what deals and opportunities they have that you can offer your clients. So that's what we got going, but today we're going to do that. Uh, we have some other stuff, some really cool stuff, and, we're, and Susie, uh, Susie uh, uh, is going to be here for GS4 Geography. Um, and she's going to cover a little bit about Alaska, and uh, so yeah, we had a bunch of stuff going on. But first, let's do a big shout out to the other evolution agents that always arrive early. Uh, let me put my my mouse on. Ding, ding, ding. First off, Mr. Sean Rutledge, who was in Chicago. You know, God bless you, Sean. You always arrive early. You're always number one, and he's a great guy, and 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 I speak to him a lot. And, and he's gonna, he is a great agent, and, and he, he, you know, he's professional, he's on time, he does the things, and he's going to be very successful in this business. Also, I want to big big shout out to Mr. Joe Schofield, who's having a little bit of medical problems. So you evolution agents, let's pray for Joe that he comes back 100%, okay? Donnie Kathy Sutman, Donna Fontaine, who's wearing a bikini right now, and she's watching this lovely she was training in Chicago center uh, training session. I don't know why she told me she was. Don't say that. And uh, Jeffrey Stefan is here, Emily Hankey, who else? Valerie Stewart, the great Nina Mitchell from Hawaii. Hey, Nina, how are you? I know, you know, we see you guys every convention, and then I don't see you guys for another year, so it's it's kind of crazy. Uh, who else? Let's do three more. Mm, I'm going to take the mouse out. Okay, because we got to get going. we got to get going. Three more. Uh, Renee Lewis, Nina Mitchell, Gina the Massey, Gina, uh, Audrey Sims, Thompson's, and... Lavasi Howard, great, love you guys. Okay, thanks for being supportive and really tell your new agents that you're registering about these training webinars, about these training sessions, okay? Because there's a lot of information that they can get out of here and use them, all right? So with that, um, if you can't make it to these training sessions, you can review them right here on this Facebook page. You can find these training sessions also in your travel cafe under webinars and training videos. Consultants, sponsors, recruiters, please inform all your Evolution team members and new Evolution agents about these trainings. And here's the format for today. For those of you who have arrived late, uh, we're going to cover the importance of follow-up holiday travel and a whole bunch of First, let's go to the Archer Travel, travel Tip of the Day. We just dropped two new customizable marketing videos. We have Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines and Destination Spotlight Barcelona. And this was written by one of our uh, staff members here, Amber. So you'll, it'll be a new little flavor. And we also are giving you a coupon code only for live viewers. You mean for only people watching this on this? Okay. Yeah. This training session, and what's the code? The code is Secret Jose. That, not secrets, Secret Jose. Secret Jose. So everybody write that down, Secret Jose. Is it's that good for 25% off anything in the shop, and it is uh, good for the entire month of October. So, um, I guess you can say it one more time before you end the okay, call. It's, it's Secret Jose is the, okay, so now, so let's say if you don't watch the live and someone else comes on there, they can do that too, but they got to watch this first, yeah. right? Okay, mm -hmm. they got to watch it. You get the secret code, which is, everybody say it with me now, Secret Jose, <laughs> not with an S. And that means you can get the two new videos for $15 instead of $20. And there they are around on the screen, okay? 
right. And we also have some new videos that are coming up, right? Uh, next month. Yes. Next month. All right. Um, but these two, you can see there are two Royal Caribbeans. Um, that's just a differentiation in music. So there's the original music on one side, and then there's a, an option with, a, with some tropical steel drum music if you want something more tropical, um, because a lot of the, the, the cruises go to the Caribbean. Okay, cool. And just to touch on Barcelona, you know, Barcelona is a nice big uh, cruise terminal port, so you can do land tours there and you can also do cruises out of there. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Thank Ms. You. Parsons. What's the code again? Secret oh. Jose. <laughs> so, oh, Secret Jose, I shouldn't know. Jeez, I'm so serious. <laughs> she's over here and she's like, what, you idiot? You don't know your code? <laughs> okay, all right. So, all right, let's, now let's get serious. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Kind of like, hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, I always liked using this and, and I found a different cartoon for this. The, you see this? This is your sponsor. Your, your recruiter is the big chicken. And these are these little evolution agents. And all of these little evolution agents think, great, I can call the Fairmont now or the Omni Hotel and book hotels and sign contracts. No, 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 no. The wolf is like the sales manager, the hotel manager, who's got like 15, 20 years experience on the little chicks. And they love to put in cancellation policies that can really, really be costly. And you could adhere to many, many money penalties that you would have to pay for. So in other words, let's go to the next slide. Archie Travel Tip of the Day. Attention all evolution agents. Please do not sign anything. Nothing. Nada. Zero. We're getting too many contracts. I'm like, what are you doing? Ah, and that scares me because then you're responsible to, for the cancellation penalties. Don't ever sign anything. Don't ever give out RIATA number. Don't ever give that out. So please, because a lot of you guys that attend this training session also recruit a lot of new agents. And I want these two things to be very aware of. If you have any questions about booking stuff, you know, because we're getting a lot of, oh, wow, these agents are ready to book right now. Great. You know, just run it through me. All the new agents that are calling me, I'm telling you, call me. I, I want to know what you're doing for your first four to five bookings. So I know that you're doing it correct. So please do not sign anything and don't ever give out your uh, IATA number. All right, next one. Art your travel tip of the day, spinning wheels. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I get too many agents like, yeah, Jose, I sent them the fun jet. Yeah, and they really liked it. And then what happened? Oh, I stayed up all night trying to find it cheaper. I'm like, I don't understand that mentality. You're spinning your wheels, okay? One to two quotes tops, that's it, you know? And you should be able, after you've, after you've qualified them and you've gotten everything that they want and you've created this relationship with your client, that should be it. You know, this, oh, I gotta find a cheap, and, and don't fall into this trap. You're a new travel agent, yeah, and your sister-in-law calls you going, hey, you know what, we're, we're, we're gonna go to Cancun next year and I find this deal on, on the internet, can you beat it? Then we have two people spinning their wheels, two people becoming travel agents. Say to your sister-in-law, you know what, good luck. I'm gonna to try to market myself and build my own client base. That's what you got. I wish you guys would spend more time instead of looking for deals on marketing your business, building trust with your clients and, and making it more successful. That's what I'm talking about. Spin your wheels doing that, market yourself more. Instead of, oh yeah, I was up all night, three or four o'clock in the morning, and why? You know, the price is the price. If they come to you, it's like somebody called me from New York the other day going, well, wait, no, I got a better one. I got a call from <clears throat> someone in Riverside, California today. Six young girls want to go to Greece. And this is their itinerary. Check this out. The LA, Paris, Paris for th two or three nights, then Athens, Athens for, you know, a week, and then Rome for three or four nights, then back to Paris. I'm not like going, what are you, t I, I said, you know what? Turn them on to Contiki, show them Contiki. Uh, if you don't know what Contiki is, call me and I'll tell you. Turn them on to Contiki, show them that because you want six young girls in their 20s, 20, they're 20, 21, 22 in June in the summer in Europe. Look what happened today in Europe. I'm just saying, it's John Kapoor and look, they already have it. So you're, you're putting young people in, in dangerous. The reason why I like Contiki is you're traveling in a group and the people know exactly where their kid is. Well, I know it's Tuesday, according to the itinerary, he's in Paris or he's in Paris. So I told the agent, give them Contiki and then give them, you know, just the, the Europe, just give them, give them the, don't even give them the air, show them the Europe itinerary through like travel impressions and go, here's your two pipe, you know. And they're like, well, no, we want to stay in, you know, stay in, and she's spinning her wheels. I said, no, you, don't. Qualify them, 
put them on, uh, uh, you know, on the right path, and you should get it together. Okay, but quit spinning your wheels. All right. Next one, please. Fraud warning. Been getting a lot of this, and I'm sure you guys have too. Check this out. This is the email that I got. Good morning, dear. What the heck is that? Good morning, dear. I would like to make a booking flight with you for these trips. Please send me fare for the different trips as follows. Trip one, Paris, Casablanca to... <laughs> Casablanca. First off, he's got the codes in there wrong. CDG is Paris. Uh, well, anyway, Casablanca to Paris. Departing dates, uh, which is like next week. Three days, you know, again, these are warning signs. When you see stuff like, oh, I got to book it in about five days, and it's big, big stuff, and this is going to be expensive air. Dakar to Casablanca, return flexible, airline, rail air, Morocco, economy, no. Thanks and best regards, Mr. Boshur Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay, never, ever, ever you want to do this, okay? Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Also, there's one from an Amante, Amante. I'm sure you guys, if I've been getting them, you guys have been getting them. So be aware of this. Show this to the new agents going, here's an example of fraud. You don't want to touch something like this. You always want to work with, you know, with people that you know, that you know, they were referred to you by family members or, or friends, but that you know them, okay? Don't pick up any new clients or, oh, I found you on, the, on Facebook. You know, I'm in Indianapolis and you're in, you know, Boston. What's the matter? Is there something wrong back there? What? No, just focus on you. No, I don't want, don't focus on me. Then they start making fun of me. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. And you guys do make fun of me. The importance of, are we doing this now? No. No? Nope. Oh, that's right, we're going to the travel cafe. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a going ahead of myself. There's some important stuff in here. You should be touching this now. Yep, uh-oh, we have a question. Uh, is Contiki selling for Europe only? No, Contiki's worldwide. I love Contiki. They're owned by Trafalgar. Shh, yeah. but don't tell them. And you should know what Trafalgar is too. Um, they go worldwide, and they have some great, fantastic trips. Uh, I mean, really good, really good, filled with all kinds of excursions and events and stuff. It's take a look at it. It's uh, demographically driven. It's only for 18 to 35 year olds, and it's it's a great, safe way to travel, and it's a lot of fun. And they are so into the whole social media. They have the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram. What's the other one? That, that's it? Okay. I thought there was another one, too. All right. So uh, that's why I look at the millennial over there. <laughs> I was at the airport, and I ran into a millennial from Australia. And she goes, I don't know how to get to my hotel. I was, well, well, get on your phone and, and you know, do um, uh, Uber or um, Lyft. I don't do Uber. I'm like, what? You're a millennial? <laughs> you don't have Uber as an app? No, I don't have that. All right. Anyway, let's go through this. All right. Tomorrow, big thing. Look at this. Ron Archer and Don Sutton. Look at that. Tomorrow is a Zoom call with Ron. And I, listen, I tell everybody, tell everybody, because Ron's been, you know, busy with Australia, and then he was away for two weeks. He's going to be on, and ask him anything you want. Ask him anything you want. Okay? He's going to be on there for a while. And they're going to talk about discount webinars where you can get discounts for cruises, how you can go on free cruises, how you can get free discounts on uh, theme park tickets and all that. On the right, the errors and emissions insurance. Please, please, please have all new agents get that. You know, really, uh, five ninety-five. You know, it's a thousand-dollar deductible price of a of a Starbucks coffee, and you have that wonderful deductible that you can help because if you run into any issues and stuff. We have an exclusive over from uh, Royal Caribbean. We had some really good hits on the Royal Caribbean information that we did. So, look at this. Um, let's stop for a second. We can't. We can't view it. We can't go up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I just want to, the Virgin Voyages. I wanted to talk about Virgin Voyages really quick. Okay, there's some new rule now. Next week, Virgin Voyages is coming in here, as you can see, October 15th, October 15th, 1030. That webinar will not be on Facebook. That will be here in the Evolution Travel Cafe. We will be announcing that with big, big slides and just like, come if you want to see this. And I know you guys really were interested in this. So they're going to be in here and I highly recommend that you come and look at it. We're going to have a tab for you up in the front, okay? And this is the, uh, Carnival Cruise Line that we did, right? Mm -hmm. And let's scroll down. And then there's the Princess webinar. You see, I told you guys we're, we're going to be doing a lot more of this. And these BDMs are going to be coming back, like, you know, every two months to, to give you guys the information. I don't know of any other travel agency that does that. You know, in the travel agency business, you see the BDM maybe once a year. These guys are coming back and coming back because we know you book a lot of Princess. We know you book a ton of Carnival. 
in Norwegian. So we're going to be doing a lot more of all this stuff. You know, I think we got Marco coming in again in November, and even David Evans from Expedia Tap is going to be doing a presence in October sometime. So we'll let you guys know. Let's scroll up, which is kind of cool. You know, all right, that's cool. And let's now go to back to the PowerPoint. Um, and, and it's funny, I've been monitoring the, uh, the hits on Facebook. <laughs> And, you know, Carnival got like almost 2,000 views. I mean, that's pretty good. And it seems like we're becoming a TV channel, <laughs> the Archer Travel TV channel or video channel, which is kind of cool. But we're going to be having a lot more of that. And uh, it's just so you guys, you guys have the education, you can do it. Now, if you don't have time during the day to watch these live, you can always, you know, watch them when you do have time because uh, they're really important. All right, the importance of follow-up holiday travel. This is important and and. Well, this is like for the holidays, and I tell you, I went to Puerto Vallarta, and I hadn't been, I've been on a couple of cruises, and I drive to Vegas. I hadn't been to an airport in a long time. LAX was a mess. It was Sunday morning, and it was a mess on Sunday morning, like 7 a.m. I couldn't believe it. It was already, and I went, man, what's this place going to be like on the Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving? Ouch. And there's construction and all this other stuff. And I couldn't believe how, how, how long it took me to get from, from the gate, from the curb, to my gate. <laughs> It's like, it's like, I did my walk-in for the day. Same thing when I was in Puerto Vallarta. I thought, oh, Puerto Vallarta's got to have a small little airport, right? No, it's huge. And it's just something that you got to be aware of when you're working with your clients. Make sure, see if they're physically able to get there. Because if Aunt Mary and, you know, Uncle Charles, they're in their 80s, they might have a little problem walking. We have to accommodate them with wheelchairs to get them to the gate. The importance of follow-up, holiday travel, really important. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this is a travel agent fact that I got from Travel Agent Magazine, and this is true. You know, we have people drop out of the program every day. And I kind of asked them, I said, what, what, why? Well, they don't have time to do it, or they're too busy, or whatever. And the majority of the time, that the reason why they dropped was because they didn't have followed up. These are true facts. Travel agents lose three out of four clients. Why? They don't follow up. So, and, and it happens here. You have to have your voicemail empty, you know, you guys call us up going, oh, I need help. Da, da, da. I, I mention this every week. We call you back. Voice mailbox is full. Or voice mailbox hasn't been set up. Or I can't get a hold of this. You must be available. That's part of just being in this business. You know, between you being a, your availability, you have the support of Archer Travel. Even on the weekends, we monitor the phones. If anything happens for your clients, we got your back. Be available. Answer the phone. Have a good voicemail system. Your business will go up. Did you know that 79% of leads are never followed up? It's amazing. Just call them back. All right, let's go to the next one. Three steps of follow-up. Review the following. So this is like the pre-travel where you're a professional. You're a professional evolution agent. You show up looking sharp. You present your, your materials. You qualify them. You research. You follow up. You quote. You give them the booking. You follow up. That's it. You, and you prep the client for travel. Now, two, the travel. Cruise, all-inclusive tours, etc. Three, post-travel, <laughs> the follow-up, and I'm going to get to that. Four, repeat above, keep it going. That way you get the commissions keep going, so just repeat above. Let's go again. Pre-travel, the follow-up. Okay, so you've met the client, you're researching them. Now you have to ask, okay, be ready. It's the holidays. You're going on the week of Thanksgiving. You're going on the week of Christmas, or you're following uh, Christmas week, January 1. You're going down to Sandals, Bahamas, uh, you know, whatever, Ocho Rios. Make sure you have all that information, you follow up with the quote, then you book them. Let them be prepared. After you book them, what do you do? You follow up by prepping the client for travel. And look, I'm not saying you, you bug them. I don't want you to do that. But have those lines of communication open. Email them going, hey, you know what? Just want to make sure everything all right. You know, I see the passwords are done. Are you guys ready? Do you need anything? Let me know. Boom, done. You know, I think what would be the coolest thing is on their, on their drive to Sandals, you know, on December 31, they're going to go down to Sandals for New Year's in, you know, Ocho Rios. And, you know, you email them a text going, you know what? You're leaving Detroit now with, you know, 17 degree minus below zero, and you're going to 75, 80 degree weather. Ah, love it. Yeah. And I'm going to Sandals. So that kind of service, that concierge type of service, you'll, your clients, will, it'll increase. Believe me, it will. All right. The follow -up. So, check the airports and the weather as they're getting ready. Be ready and available. Handle issues and problems. We've talked about if the airport gets closed down due to snow or whatever, da, da, da. we've talked about that. If you need more information, review what we did a couple of weeks ago, okay? 
on how to handle those kind of issues and problems. If you do have issues and problems and, you, and you're lost, you don't know what to do, call Archer Travel. Do not call your recruiter, your sponsor, da, 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 da. You call us. Call us. And you should know the number. Call us. Believe me. All right. Next one. Three, post travel. Okay, on the return, they're all excited. Oh, we got back from Sandals. Oh, God, it was great. We were there for New Year's. Da, 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 da. Okay, use that. Wait about a couple of days because they're going to be. And then follow up. Ask the following questions and ask these questions. Let's go to the next one. Ask the following questions. How was the trip? Listen. Don't say, just, just ask, how was the trip? Oh, it was great. Da, da, da. Take notes. Take notes. Find out what they like and dislike. Okay, great. Number three, were you missed? Oh. Uh oh, oh, she's telling me to hurry up. Were you misinformed? Did I give you the right information? Did I give you any, you know, wrong information? Let me know. Did you take photos or videos? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here on my phone. Great. Can I use some of those? Can you email me some of those photos, just up the beach of San, so I can put it on my website, on, on my on my Facebook page? Use the information they give you. You know, they might talk about, well, you know, yeah, the sandals are great, but you know, Mary really wants to go to Maui next spring, but I don't know, you know. Keep that in your mind. That way, you can go when you're when you're checking monthly what's on, you know, Vax Vacation Access, and you're in Blue Sky Tours, and you're like, right, you know, Bill and, and Bill and Mary wanted to go to Maui in the springtime. Look, I got a deal for them here. See, that's when you email them, going, hey, Bill, just to let you know, there's a deal in Maui. And really, I didn't know. Well, there you go, and your business he keeps going and going. Look for special sales and promotions on these trips. That's what follow up is all about. All right, so the next one. The follow-up. Follow-up often with your clients or another agent will. Be in contact with that. Just, you know, simple, hey, how you doing? Simply, I mean, I just want to connect with you, you know. So be there because then they will, they'll, they'll connect with you and you can start booking more. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, no. What now what do we do? Oh. Okay. Um, when we come back, we're going to do a little segment with... Uh, uh, G is for Geography, a segment with Susie, and she's going to talk about Alaska. But first, let's go to this commercial. When you choose fun, it's like a party you never want to stop starting. A shot you never want to stop calling. Swish. A root beer you never want to stop floating. A splish you never want to stop splashing. A friend you never want to stop greeting. Because once you choose fun, you never want to stop. Carnival. Everybody, it's Susie, and it's time for G is for Geography. Um, we're going to be looking at the destination for Alaska. Uh, the season's just about over for cruising. It is over. So we're going to give you some information on this, on this wonderful cruising destination, which is the state of Alaska. Uh, we've got a couple cruise lines that this is their forte during the time period. Alaska sailings are from about mid-May till about the end of September. So in the upcoming weeks, we're going to be looking at each of these ports of call in the state of Alaska and giving you some um, excursion information and some of the information about the state of Alaska. Um, just so you know, the state of Alaska was granted statehood to the United States in January of 1959. Alaska has about 100,000 glaciers, which covers about 5% of the state. Juneau is the capital of Alaska. Um, there's three different ways you can actually see this destination. With cruising, it's a northbound, which you would either start from Vancouver or Seattle and go north up to Whittier or Seward, and then that would be one way. Or you could do a southbound, which you would fly to Anchorage or Fairbanks, board the ship in Whittier or Seward, which is the port, and cruise southbound. The third way is to do the inside passage, which you can start again from either Seattle or Vancouver, and it would just go up to Ketchikan Judo Skyway and return back to your port of destination. 
So in the upcoming weeks, we're going to talk about the different cruise lines that go to this destination, give you some information on the highlights of the ports of call and some fun um, facts to go ahead and sell to your customers so that when the Alaska season comes pretty soon, you'll have all this information to go ahead and be really knowledgeable on what you can sell your customer. Um, some of the cruise lines are Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Princess, and Norwegian, which you're all very familiar with. So we're going to look forward to spending time with you in the next couple of weeks and getting you educated on these different places. Alaska is a huge state, and then later on we will be going across into the into Canada. So we look forward to seeing you and sell, sell, sell. And if you have any questions, please give us a call. Welcome to Travel G for Geography. Thanks. Susie, that was a nice little segment on Alaska and uh, Vancouver. You know, um, I don't know if she mentioned this because uh, I, I couldn't hear her, but here's a couple of things about Alaska. First off, Carnival does a bunch of tour, uh, a bunch of cruises up there. So for you West Coast agents that book a lot of Carnival, that's a really good thing to offer to your clients, and they have some really good outstanding deals. The other thing, if you're going to book land tours, like tours of Denali and all that, you have to do that pretty much a year in advance because there's not a lot of hotel inventory there. All right, so do that and if you have any questions about booking land tours you know about how you can go there for fishing and helicopter rides and all that and you want to go to Denali the, the great national uh, park up there give me a call and, and I'll put you on the right path all right so coming up listen I went on a fam and I really want to have a big shout out to AM Resorts who sponsored it through Travel Impressions and Jackie DeFeo who was our leader um, on the fam and we, I saw a bunch of uh, all-inclusive resorts. I love Puerto Vallarta. It was great. It was. It rained. It was like hurricane weather. It was like being in Miami. I wasn't used to the humidity. I was sweating like all over. But I had a really good time, ate a lot of great food, and had a great time with a lot of people. Y e, mi amigo que está en México, Adolfo, como estás? Uh, one of our travel agents was from Mexico. Me and him hung out, and we had a great time. Shh, shh, don't say that. Anyway. Um, here's a video of secrets, and, and, I, and this is an AM Resorts property, and I want you guys to be aware of it. This is adults only. I saw a lot of families, um, they're really family friendly there. I mean, they really are, and they really stress that out in the marketing of, of their uh, all-inclusive. So it's really safe for families, but this one, Secrets is right next to Now, and if you stay at Secrets, you can use Now, Now is a family uh, resort. Uh, Secrets is adults only, so you get like all these restaurants and you get to use all this stuff. What I, what I really like about Secrets is it is right on the beach. It is right on the beach. I saw some properties that were like a quarter of a mile away from the beach that were 45 minutes away from your room. This property is really cool, so let's watch this video. So that was Secrets uh, in Puerto Vallarta, um, and really nice, really romantic, really cool, cool place. Um, I also saw a couple of other places, so 
Um, every for the next two or three weeks, I'm going to be showing you some more videos of the resorts that are down there. Yeah, I took a bunch of videos and I took a bunch of pictures, but it's it's better when you see their promotional stuff and really high quality and how wonderful these places are, and they really are. And uh, I'm telling Puerto Vallarta is easy. It's three hours from LAX nonstop. A lot of airlines go there: JetBlue, Southwest, Delta, American, United. They all do, and it's really easy and it's a lot of fun. All right. Let's do this now. We're going to now watch this new promotional video from Carnival Cruise Line. Let's jump to it. Ah, there's nothing better than a Caribbean sunrise to start the day off right, except watching it from a completely remodeled, utterly awesome Carnival Cruise ship. One just like this. Well, more like this. Welcome to the fully funified Carnival Sunshine, our brightest, airiest, and dare we say one of our funnest ships to date? Oh, we dare. We definitely dare. So how do we do it? Well, we started with Carnival Destiny, which was pretty awesome already, then redesigned it and worked in even more fun to keep you smiling from sunrise to sunset. So let's get started. As of now, you're officially on island time, so let's get you in an island mood with something delicious to drink, like a Blue's Blue Margarita from our poolside Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, or a Red's Caribbean Colada from the Red Frog Rum Bar across the way. Mmm, yeah, that's the stuff. Now that you've got an umbrella drink in one hand, how about something tasty to eat in the other? Say, a Guy's Burger Joint Burger to satisfy your meat tooth? Or slide over for some fresh mechs that'll have you shouting sabroso from the Blue Iguana Cantina. Okay, now you're ready to kick back and soak up the rays by our oasis-like pool. And that really good feeling that you're feeling? That's relaxation. Yeah, better get used to it. But don't get too comfortable, because it's time to speed things up at our totally awesome waterworks. Why is it totally awesome? Well, for one thing, this water park goes to the Caribbean. And secondly, it's got a super long, crazy twister water slide and our new blazing fast speedway splash slides. Challenge someone to a race, then give it all you've got. The timer at the finish line will judge who's fast and who's a rotten egg. And if shooting down a water slide over the Caribbean doesn't get your heart racing, take a crack at navigating our onboard ropes course in Sports Square. We're talking ocean views from 10 stories up, people. And for your kids, the fun just keeps on going at Camp Carnival. Or Circle C for the older kids. Or Club O2 for teens. Now that your need for speed is satisfied and the kids are happy, let's slow it back down to a Caribbean cadence. We are in the islands after all. Welcome to Cloud Nine Spa. Or should we say spa? Get it? Check out the views. You have plenty of oohs to go with those ahs. And because you can never have too many oohs and ahs, we've even transformed the deck into a completely new adult-only serenity retreat. Yep, this is the place to kick back and finish that book you've been meaning to read or ponder the bigger questions like, can dolphins give high fives? And where's a good place to find a scrumptious snack? That place would be here. Well, not here, here. Carnival Sunshine's Ocean Place. Think of it like your living room, but bigger, funner, and, well, we'll thank you for. So, you've been thrilled, you've chilled, and you've had a taste of some delicious treats. But now it's time to be seriously wined and dined with all sorts of international delights. Get a taste of Old Cuba and some real Latin flavor at Havana Bar. Or sample the Far East at GG Asian Kitchen. Or... Okay, so that was the carnival uh, video. Uh, now, we have a new ship coming in Los Angeles. Um, you agents that are in the uh, Midwest and Detroit and Columbus and like Michael Clark, who's here from the Columbus, Ohio, you know, you guys should really be monitoring the inventory that's in Miami um, and in like Tampa, um, like Katrina, K Katrina George there who's in Tampa, they have Carmel going out of there. So monitor that stuff and there's going to be a lot of sales and a lot of promotions coming up for uh, spring and summer, and we're going to get to that at the end of the month. So, any Q and A, Miss Dean? You guys know it all, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No questions, huh? All right. If you do have a question, you know how to get in contact with me. Join join us tomorrow when we're going to do Back to Basics. Gosh, can you believe it? Ten, uh, number ten, and where we're going to talk about how to fill out evolution and archer travel forms. If you don't, if you've forgotten and you need a refresher course, please join us. We'll be here in the. Uh, uh, Evolution Travel Cafe at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Is that it, Miss Johnson? Yes. 
Okay, adios, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.